Where they go from the 1950 meter marker. Cape Fair Stern, Sam Tripp, the first two to respond. Inja's Arts at the rail. Super Seed and Shelley's Connections, the trailer. That's in the pink and racing about five, six lengths off the leader. They swing onto that back stretch and they go towards the 1700 meter marker. Sand Trip just the leader. Cape Vest is racing in second position, then Inja's Art. And behind that one, Super Seed and Shelly's Connections, the trailer. And that's now racing about five or six lengths off the leader. And it's Sand Trip who's elected to go out and lead it. Cape Vesta is second. In third is Inja's Art. And then Super Seed and Shelly's Connection sees them all. And that's racing five, six lengths off the tempo. Sand Trip continues to lead it now. Cape Fester is second and Inja's Art is third. Super Seed fourth position and Shelley's Connection is fifth. Five lengths off the pace. They move away now to the 1,000 metre marker. And Sand Trip a length and a half. In second position, Cape Fester. Super Seed is third. Inja's Art's at the rail fourth and then Shelley's Connection. They just slow it up slightly. Five lengths from top to tail. Sand Trip continuing to lead it in second position, Cape Vesta, then Super Seed and Inja's Art, Shelley's Connections, the trailer, about his swing for home, and it's still Sand Trip who makes play out in front. In second, Cape Vesta, Super Seed now getting the wake up call on the outside. Inja's Art's going to go through at the rail, and then Shelley's Connection. 500 to go, Sand Trip still leads it. Super Seed, White Nose Band, Inja's Art's at the rail, and Shelley's Connections further back. It's still Sand Trip, Inja's Art's looking for a way through at the rail, and Super Seed moves in. Shelley's Connections also trying to run on, but Super Seed under the hands comes to Sand Trip. Sand Trip and Super Seed, these are the two over the last hundred. Sand Trip and on the outside, Super Seed, they come down to the wire. It goes to Super Seed. Sand Trip second, third Shelley's Connection, and Inja's Art. Small field, great finish, and it goes to number one, Super Seed. It gets up the nod of the head, and there's the filly by Stronghold stepping up to the 1950, and will just prevail from Sand Trip as they come down to the line, and Super Seed, Stuart Randolph, Patrick Lunn. This is a fifth career win from 14 outings, shows up at 360 on the toad. Second to Sand Trip. Third position. We run it, it goes to Shelley's Connection, then Inja's Art, and further back, Cape Vesta. Let's look at that head-on. Small field, but Inja's Art doesn't get the clearest of passage at the rail, and at Sand Trip, Inja's Art, Super Seed comes home well. Shelley's Connection is towards the outside, but Super Seed and Sand Trip, they have a ding-dong tussle, and it's just going to go to Super Seed from Sand Trip. A race time, 123,17, until the ninth race, back to the studio. Well, we've seen a slow run race here and it's gone to, I think, the, possibly the quality filly in the race, Super Seed, who's now had these 14 starts for five wins and uh, a very good run. She's gone the extended distance, but would you be the first degree? It was a very slow run race. Yeah, well, the pace wasn't hot, but um, that's what we wanted. Um, carrying 61, first time over the trip, we didn't want to make it too hot, otherwise it would have suited the fillies that do stay. But um, she won a good race. She's gutsy. She doesn't do it herself. You have to really get really get stuck into her. But um, good luck to Shui. Good luck to Mark. Um, had a bit of a disappointment on the fourth. I thought that Philly would win. But yeah, um, well, what was the story of Cape Grape? We can touch on it. Just looked a bit flat to me. Yeah, Shui said he was going to for home. Eh? Um, she was under pressure, a long way out. Maybe the heat. Um, yeah. Not, not, not too sure, one, yeah. one of those things. Yeah, that's racing. But this filly is a good filly. Yeah, she's um, I think she's not group group material, but she's just below the best. She's a nice handy handicapper. I um, just hope Matthew doesn't get uh, too carried away with her. Um, she's been battling off the 89, she's, but she's very honest. That's the problem. She runs a good race every time. But yeah, good luck to Mark, good luck to my dad and, and the breeders. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Well done, Stu. We're just speaking to Lloyd about Cape Grey. I thought it looked the horse to beat, but maybe the heat got to it or something. Uh, just flattened out. Even though it placed for you, it just sort of flattened out, didn't it? Yeah, it wasn't a true run. Um, obviously, much better that the form speaks for itself. Yeah. But like you said, I think with the heat, uh, things didn't go right, and she just she was beaten a long way out. 
This turned to be a canter and a bit of a sprint, which you didn't mind too much. But uh, the, a tactical ride from the runner-up who made you work. Absolutely. You know, he got there and he was going to ride to suit himself. So, you know, I had to be aware of that. And as you saw, I pulled off the rail and I was able just to creep a little bit closer because I uh, knew it was going to get turned into a sprint. And which suited this filly because I knew she, she's going to challenge. She can actually sprint. She's done well in a mile. Ran up to him very easily, but then it's just trying to get it to go on with it, as yeah. she did last time. She a bit of heart failure, but no, thank goodness I was able to make amends from Kay Grave for Mr. Datums and, and for Ms. Lunn. Well done. Thanks very much. Yeah, well done to Mark Datums, well done to Patrick Lunn, well done to Yellow Star Stud. Aren't they having a good run? They're breeding winners left, right and centre. They're training and owning winners, so well done to them as well. Super Seed, she's a good girl and she's won again.